Taking a look backwards on your Wednesday, we topped out just one degree below the freezing mark at 31 degrees, but still well above the average for this time of the year by seven for both your afternoon high and your morning low. Nowhere near the record of 47 or negative 21 degrees. And we're now at eight hours and 34 minutes of daylight. The days are beginning to get longer now that yesterday was the winter solstice. Looking at today's afternoon highs, mostly in those mid 30s, 34 in Munising, 33 in Escanaba, 35 in Iron Mountain, 36 in Antinagin. Well above the average of this time of the year. So we are gonna see a little bit of that melting of that snow that we received from last night. Those winds are mostly coming out of the southwest, a little bit strong in Ironwood at 14, Houghton out of the west at 10, but they did see a lot stronger winds back on our Tuesday. And as we go towards the central UP, that southwesterly flow continues between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Looking at those headlines a little more closely as we go now towards the Christmas weekend, we're going to be dealing with a very quiet trend as high pressure is in control, even though by tomorrow we'll see those clouds beginning to thicken throughout the Upper Peninsula ahead of a clipper that will push in for Friday night that could bring at least one to two and maybe some isolated areas, three or four inches of snow. But still, really, the main system to really look at will be the one that's going to happen on Christmas night going into the day after Christmas because that one will have a little bit of everything, a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow, a little bit of even freezing rain and sleep mixed in. So that one will be a trickier one and that will cause a lot more travel headaches on the day after Christmas. But also going back to Wednesday, we did deal with that clipper and especially towards the central and eastern UPs, they got a little more impressive snowfall. Most areas did see less than half a foot of snow, but still Marquette, one of the biggest winners at 5.4 inches, Munising at five, at the Sioux at 4.7, and St. Ignace bottoms out the list at two inches of snow for last night mostly. But for the feature cast, at least going for your Thursday night and going into your Friday, we'll be dealing with quiet conditions. It really won't be till late afternoon on Friday where conditions begin to go downhill. Those snow chances are really going to be at the highest throughout tomorrow evening. By the time we go past the overnight going into your Saturday, conditions are going to improve once again. We'll have a mix of sunny clouds for your Christmas Eve. On Sunday, we'll begin to reintroduce those clouds once again. And towards the west, as you can see, you the rain really sticking around in the parts of Iowa. That mixed precipitation really affecting the Twin Cities and entering now Wisconsin and then the northern Minnesota, will that be the snow? The timing of exactly when we will see either rain, freezing rain, or sleet, or even snow is to be determined as it gets closer. A lot of that variables will be determined on the temperatures and the dew points. But really do give yourself extra caution with that. Looking into your Friday a little more closely though, we do see some snow showers beginning to come into parts of the western UP, especially by the late afternoon. Eventually it will be more towards the eastern UP going into your Friday night. But by Saturday morning, everybody should already be seeing a clearing trend and more sunshine will break out for your Saturday afternoon. Most of the rain showers will still be well towards the south into parts of Missouri and into Illinois. For tonight though, 24 degrees above average temperatures for this time of the year with those winds out of the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And going into your Friday a little more closely, we will still see wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour with those winds now a little picked up at 15. But that southwesterly flow though will help those temperatures rise once again above the freezing mark into those mid 30s. 35 is the most constant number, especially for the western UP from Antinagin down to Florence. And 34 as you go towards Munising and 33 in Escanaba. But if the sun ap appears more than the clouds, especially for a good portion of the day before the snow arrives, we can see those temperatures once again flirting towards that 40 degree mark like we saw today. Going into your sunrise at 8.32 a.m. for your Friday, 20% chance of, of snow by the afternoon. It really won't be till the evening where we see 60%. And by the time we go into the next seven days, Travel conditions are looking excellent for your Saturday. Sunday, though, will be a tricky one with that rain-snow mix coming in late in the day. And by the time we go into your Monday, cold front pushes through late in the day and dropping those temperatures into those 20s with partly cloudy skies for the middle portion of next week.